Hello, good afternoon, boys and girls. And um, firstly, um, uh, I will give you a brief introduction of me. Uh, my name is Christina, and I'm coming from uh, Kasu Laser. I have been Christina, working. Christina, so yes. Sorry. Uh, if you permit, if you permit, then we can do the recording of this because then actually you'll be able to see it later also. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, I'll just switch on the recording. Yeah, you can go ahead. Okay. Uh, actually, I have been working with Kasu Laser for over twelve years, and uh, my. My, my company currently now is the leading fabric laser cutting machine manufacturer in China. Uh, we have um, uh, cooperated with uh, many uh, like uh, fabric or textile, or actually we call it sewing products. Sewing products uh, manufacturers, are they are buying our lasers to uh, improve their working productivity as well as the lower their requirements about the manual cutting workers. So I, I will explain to you more about uh, how they use it uh, or uh, the advantages and the main applications, okay? And uh, <laughs> but before that, I'd like to thank you, Professor Shana. Thank you for this great opportunity yeah, for me. Can, yeah. Yeah, to, to, uh, hope you may find this one hour uh, session valuable, uh, worthwhile your time, okay? I'll try my best to explain to you how, how the fabric laser cutting machine works and its application. And as well as, uh, so uh, I will show you the, the PPT because I'm talking yeah, okay. about the machine so i i think it would be better to present you together with the working videos the yes uh, yeah yes. photos That'd as well nice. as yeah. yeah yeah the tests so my uh presentation would be uh categorized into four parts first part is uh what is fabric laser cutter and its working principle and second part would be the main types of the uh, fabric and textiles that laser can cut. And third part is its applications, especially in fashion industry, because I know many of your students will go to the fashion industry, right? As the designer yes. or yeah, okay. engineers. Yeah. Yes. And the fourth part would be the comparison with other industrial fabric cutting machines, because their laser cutting machine is only one kind. So uh, depending on different uh, cutting needs or the uh, factory's business model, there are other options. So how you should choose or the difference between different kinds of those machines. Uh, I will also give you a brief presentation. Okay, so we will start from the uh, first part. Um, you can see this is our uh, YouTube. Uh, we uploaded uh, many of videos of our from our clients' factories that how the uh, laser is using in their factories. Because as you can see, there are many many uh, different applications like those, uh, like the we can see from the start. like used in the sublimation plush toy, the sublimation flag, uh, the hand banner, the lace, and the like the um, leather or PU, like even the polymer membrane. Yeah, and as well as many other textile or sewing products uh, factories. So those are a general idea. And uh, I will, before I give you more details, I'd like to show you some working videos so you can have a basic idea. This is a very, one of the popular uh, application is the custom apparel because laser actually is re more recommended to cut single layer. So for the custom apparel, the order is generally very small, and uh, the, but the design is uh, many, many designs. So compared with other cutting uh, machines, laser is more, uh, uh, how to say, more affordable as well as more flexible. You see, the back is 
cutting and the front desk, uh, the manual, the, the worker is picking up the patterns and separate it. Okay, this is for the custom apparel or without any uh, optional device like the cameras. And the next I would present to you is the laser machine with a small CCD camera. You can see here we actually the small CCD, we call it like an eye. You see the laser uh, is working, cutting the digital printed flag. Actually, this is uh, uh, the, the, uh, a poster uh, or some kind of different banner. After cutting, the machine will auto feed material automatically, and the CCD, the CCD camera will detect the marking spot, and then it will match. The vision software will match the pattern automatically. You see, it it just the, the whole process is recycling itself. This is the small CCD part. And this one is a uh, embroidery. Embroidery is also a very popular application of the laser. And when cutting the embroidery or lace, lace, it needs the assistance of the top camera. Yeah, it can just uh, oh sorry, it can just uh, cut alongside alongside the contour contour edge of the embroidery no can, can i ask uh, some question because i, I think you know yeah uh, what uh, because instead of waiting at the end because then again you need to show the video mm. because like uh, we are discussing suppose in this case of a lace yes if we say that we wanted to cut not exactly on the edge maybe two mm you know keeping the fabric two mm extra yeah can we do that kind of adjustment in uh, this kind of uh, camera laser machines yes because you you know for lace or uh i see i still have yeah uh, this one i will show you another like this sublimation you see like these, these are digital printed or sublimation uh, technology. Okay. It is uh, similar like the lace. Uh, the, all the fabrics are having big distortion actually. So our top camera's function is you don't need any design file because the design file is no use, use in this kind of application. We, our, yeah. we will use our top camera vision software to auto detect the contour. Every time our camera will take the photo, the photo of the whole area, and then the software will auto detect this edge, cutting edge. So no matter how your pattern is distorted, we will cut accordingly. That is the basic function of this model. Actually, this model is one of our most popular models. Yeah. Hello? Yes. Uh, hope hope you, uh, I, I answer your questions. Uh, yes, I will. You. So I proceed, OK? Uh, so I think your camera, is, like your mic is mute. Yeah, yeah. So yes, yes, proceed, please. Okay, okay. And the last uh, one, uh, the last video I show you is after this. You see, this uh, pattern is designed by the CAD, yeah, or the AI or the Kojo software. Uh, after the design we just can import the design file into the laser and the laser will engrave or end cut at the same time. So here you do not need a camera where you are importing the design files because it goes by the design file profiles. 
uh, because each of our laser machine has a control software. So you can import the DXF or PLT okay. file yeah, into the okay. software. Yeah, and after adjusting the cutting speed or the, and the cutting power, then you can, uh, yeah. And also uh, uh, another thing is that we have the, um, how, how to say, the best uh, layout software. Because okay. now you only import to single pattern, but we can generate a, a very, how to say, yeah, best layout. Yeah. Basically marker, that means the nesting. Yes, nesting. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. No, but but my, my question was suppose in your uh, in one machine itself where you have camera, mm -hmm. in, in the same machine I can import a DXF file and deactivate the camera and run it. Yes. And another design I can use the camera and do not import any DXF file and still run it. In yes. the same machine. Yes, yes. Okay. The same machine oh. can, can have okay. multi functions. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now let's get back to 